Hi everyone. Welcome to this lecture on setting up and customizing Visual Studio Code for development. It will be now first customizing for the general development and later on the JavaScript, the features that are required for JavaScript will be added on in a later chapter. Okay, so VS Code in short for Visual Studio Code is one of the most popular code editors among developers due to its versatility, ease of use and extensive extension library. In this session, we will go through the process of installing Visual Studio Code, customizing it to fit our development needs and exploring some of its key features that enhance productivity. So we will start with installation of Visual Studio Code. And we'll download the Visual Studio Code from this site, code.visualstudio.com. So on my browser, I have opened this code.visualstudio.com, which is the official site or official website for downloading visualstudio.com and download for Windows, stable build. And I've got the other options because it's a open source. So it is available on Mac OS as well as Linux x64. But because I've using a Windows operating system with a Windows computer. So I will download for, I will click on this icon and click on download. So it has, even before hitting the download button, it has started downloading and it has downloaded. So let's get back to the downloaded file. So onto my download folder, it is Visual Studio Code user setup. If you click, double click, it will open up the license agreement. And if I click on, I accept the agreement and click on next, click on next and it will, I will cancel it over here because I will, I already have Visual Studio Code installed, which I will be using to customize. Okay. It was, and the steps to complete the installation is pretty straightforward as you might have been using it several times in your career. So it is pretty easy and straightforward. Okay. So now after having installed it, I will just open up the Visual Studio Code. Now that we have Visual Studio Code installed and now open in front of me, let's do some basic setup to get started with the JavaScript development. Let's start with the interface overview. So as you see that when the first time Visual Studio Code is opened, you come up with the welcome page. Now let's quickly get through the um, main features of the interface, Visual Studio Code interface. Now this left sidebar contains icons such as Explorer. When I'm mousing over, you can see it clearly. Search, source control, extensions, run and debug, and Docker, and some other extensions that I have already installed, okay, plus the remote explorer. And the central area is the editor where you write your code. I mean, at the moment, there is no file open, but when the file is open, it will be here, ready for editing. And the bottom bar shows state up in status information, and the top bar is where you find the main menu and the title bar. All right. Now to open a folder, click on file, open, go to file and then open folder and select the folder where your project is located. For me, I have uh, created this VS code, which I will select, select folder and VS code is open. You can see here, it's nothing in this folder at the moment. So this is my working folder where I would like to develop my JavaScript projects. All right. And next let's customize VS Code. So how we we'll go about it? First, we'll go for themes and appearance. So when you click on file, you come up to preferences and you have some themes, color themes. And at the moment, it is on the default, which is dark Visual Studio, but you can 
flip over and you can change um, to any other scheme, any other theme that you'd like to. So if you want to get back again, so preferences and um, so themes, color theme again, and it was the dark theme. So it comes back to the original theme, which was default at the time that you opened it. All right. And you can also go for this hotkey combination, control plus K, control plus T to change the theme. So you click on control K and T it will come up with the color theme. Okay. Like this. And uh, next is font and layout. Now to change the font size and other settings, you will have to again go to file and preferences. File, preferences and settings and search settings for font size. I have written font size so 19 settings found. Okay. So font size is 14 and code lens font size 0, inlay hints font size. So you can configure this font size for different part of the editor wherever you'd like to. Okay. And whichever size you'd like to. That is font layout, fonts and layout. And you can also customize the layout by dragging and rearranging the editor tabs. This is the editor tabs. You can drag it around. You can move it wherever you'd like to. So these are not set in stone. Explorer, you can move down below the search. Okay. So like that. And also you can move around these tabs. Release notes. This is welcome. So you can move release notes over here. Release notes comes first and will come over there. Like that. Okay. So that's a brief and quick overview of our Visual Studio Code development environment. So see you in the next lecture.